hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be doing a get ready with me for disney on ice so if you would like to see how i get ready then just continue watching today's video so the first thing that i do is just apply this ponce face cream all over my face this is what i use as my primer next up i'm going to be applying my foundation i just take my beauty sponge and this is my all-time favorite foundation this is the l'oreal infallible and i believe i used the wrong shade i think i used the shade 105 which is a little bit dark for my skin right now but you'll see later on in the video that i do correct it with concealer So now I'm going to be going in with my concealer. I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I just apply a little bit under my eyes, a little bit on my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. And I just go ahead and blend that with my beauty sponge. I do want to apologize about the lighting because the lighting was all over the place in this video. I was using natural lighting and the sun was just in and out. So if the lighting looks a little bit crazy. I am so sorry about that. So after blending out all of the concealer, I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 220. And I just use this brush by IT Cosmetics to set everything in. I'm going in with my Maybelline Baby Lips Chapstick. I like to apply this now so my lips can be nice and moisturized by the time I apply lipstick. Up next, I'm going to be applying my favorite bronzer. This is the Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer. And I love this because it does bring some warmth back into my face as well as make my face a little bit glowy. So for my bronzer, I do apply it on my cheeks, on my forehead, a little bit on my nose. And I also do bring it down to my neck just to blend everything in. I also like to apply a little bit over my eyelids just to prepare them for my eyeshadow. So up next, I'm going to go in with my favorite blush and it's in the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette. And please don't judge my palette. I know it's all beat up, but this is my favorite blush ever. It's just the middle shade in this palette and I love it so much. Now moving on to the eyebrows, I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow and don't mind the packaging, it's already all beat up, it doesn't even have the name anymore of how much I use it, but I just apply that over my eyebrows and then I go in with my favorite brow pencil which is the Micro Brow Pencil by NYX Cosmetics. So my eyebrows is probably what takes me the longest out of my entire makeup routine and I think it's because I try to perfect them. I know that they say that eyebrows are sisters, not twins or whatever that saying is, but I do try to get them as perfect as possible as I can. The Gimme Brow basically just fills in all of my sparse areas and then I just take the brow pencil to outline my eyebrows and just draw in the hairs at the beginning of the eyebrow. Once I'm finished outlining the eyebrows, I just take the other side of the pencil. It does come with the spoolie brush attached, so I use it to blend out any harsh lines that I have. Up next, I'm going to take the Shape Tip Concealer again and a thin brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the product from the top of the concealer and apply it to the bottom of my eyebrows. This is just going to help me clean up my eyebrows. And I actually only do this step to the bottom of my eyebrows. I don't touch the top of the eyebrows at all. I'm just going to take a little bit of the powder again just to set in the concealer that I applied to the eyebrows. Now I'm taking the NYX Control Freak Clear Gel just to set the eyebrows in place. Up next, we're going to work on the lips and the first step that I do is take this lip liner by LA Girl in the shade Bare and just outline my lips. So personally, I like to also fill in the lips with whatever lip liner I'm using. So that's what you see me doing here. I outline the lips and then I apply the lip liner just to give the lipstick a base. 
For lipstick, I've currently been obsessed with this Kylie Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Savage. The reason why I don't do my lipstick last is because I actually like to apply my MAC Fix Plus setting spray after this. I like to set my face makeup, my eyebrows, and my lipstick before applying mascara because I've noticed that when I apply mascara before the setting spray, it did kind of spread my mascara everywhere and I just like to avoid that. So here I'm just applying a little bit of the Better Than Sex mascara um, just to the top of the eyelashes. Since I will be doing fake eyelashes, I didn't apply too much. And it's the same thing with the eyeshadow. I like to apply the mascara before the eyeshadow because I get those little black dots from the mascara. And this helps me just um, go ahead and blend them in with the eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, I am using the Too Faced Born This Way palette and the Natural Nudes. And I'm just applying a little bit of the glitter with my fingers. For the front of my eyelid, I did use the shade Shimmering Pearl. And then for the outer part, I used the shade Sugared Chestnut. And the shade Sugar Chestnut, it's also a glitter shade, but I don't mind applying this one with the brush because I don't really want it to be super glittery. I just want it to be that darker shade. So applying the darker eyeshadow to the outer part of my eye just gives me a really subtle smoky eye look. Now I'm going to be taking my favorite highlight, which is the Anastasia Amrezi highlight, and just this brush and applying a little bit to the apples of my cheek, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Up next, we're going to work on our eyeliner, and for eyeliner, I love the Mega Liner by Wet n Wild. So this is another um, step in my makeup routine that does take me a long time, because again, this is something that I try to perfect. Doing my wing eyeliner is like my signature thing in my makeup, so yeah, this is what takes me a little bit longer. And I forgot to record, but I also did apply more of the MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray after doing my eyeshadow and highlight, just to set those in. So once I'm done with my eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and apply the eyelashes. And the one thing you need to know about eyelashes is that you just need to let the glue get tacky. Literally, anybody can apply eyelashes. I wish that when I was learning, somebody would have told me this, but... I would apply the glue and then immediately put the eyelash onto my eyelid and they would never stick and they would just kind of go all over the place. So once I knew like just let the glue get tacky and made it so much simpler to apply eyelashes. So that is my tip to you guys. Whenever you apply the glue onto the lash, just let it dry for about 30 seconds. Make the glue get tacky like a little bit sticky and then I'll go ahead and apply it to your eyelid and this will be literally the easiest thing to do once you get the hang of it I just go ahead and apply it with my fingers I don't use any special tools I just find it easier to use my fingers so that's how you see me applying the eyelashes here and then I kind of just go ahead and clamp them together with my real eyelashes and then go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara to blend in your real eyelashes real eyelashes with your fake eyelashes and that's it the last step in my makeup routine is just applying a little bit of mascara to the bottom eyelashes now i normally don't do this but i did notice that i had a few little spots from the setting spray just kind of glowing on my face so i just took my setting powder and went back in and set my entire face and honestly you guys i think i'm adding this stuff to my daily routine because it did make a difference at the end of my makeup i loved how it looked this is what the ending result looked like we're finally done with the makeup now we're going to work on my hair for my hair i did just go ahead and curl it so i'm just gonna do a quick little overview of what i did i do apply these um heat protectant from trust me to my hair and then just use my curling wand to curl my entire hair When it comes to curling my hair, I'm honestly super messy with it. I kind of just part my hair and then try to do it in parts, but then towards the end, I do get pretty lazy and then just start grabbing whatever pieces. Um, I just make sure that I do take like smaller pieces just so I can get um, better curls. And yeah, that's basically all I do. I just apply a little bit of hairspray once I'm done with the first side, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side, and then just the same thing, apply hairspray to it.
now this is the end result for my hair next up i'm going to show you my outfit my outfit i was having a little bit of a hard time finding what to wear i decided to go with this sweatshirt from the 50th anniversary when we went to disney world and i also got these mickey socks my sherpa jacket i just wanted to be warm because i wasn't sure if it was going to be really cold in the arena because it is disney on ice so i wasn't sure you know if they had to keep like a low temperature but yeah i basically just went with that and of course i had to wear my rose gold mini ears and my mini ugg boots and then i just went ahead and put on my earrings i just put on my favorite little jewel earrings and for perfume i decided to go with one of my all-time favorites it is the chance by chanel i just go ahead and spray that everywhere and this is what my outfit looks like you guys i just decided to go with leggings i honestly love how the entire outfit turned out and then for my diaper bag i just brought my petunia pickle bottom mini mouse diaper bag in the mini size and yeah this is what it looks like i put my ring i painted my nails and we're off to disney on ice you guys i hope that you enjoyed this get ready with me video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye